Hello, and welcome to this video on how to automatically replace left abstracts with GDSIP. After outputting a def database from my place and route environment, I want to run caliber physical verification to see if I have any violations. However, the left abstracts used in the def don't include the GDS device level IP. So it would really be nice if I could merge those together when I run caliber and verify the entire design. The caliber FDI to GDS utility can be used to convert left def data to GDS or OASIS on disk or in direct mode when running caliber physical verification. In that case, then all the data is merged in memory. In this video, I'll show you how to save the merged data to disk. I have a layer mapping file I'm gonna use with this example to map the layers and the shapes as well as an object mapping file to map the objects in the left and the def database uh, to the proper GDS output layers. FDI to GDS requires that you identify the system input, which is left def in this case, the def database, and the left files. And it's important to make sure you have the left technology first, and then I can follow up with just a directory for the rest of them. I identify my layer mapping file and the object mapping file, and identify an output file. And after that completes, I'll open the output GDS file in Calibre Design Rev. If I zoom in, I can see that there are, the routing shapes are there, but there's no device level information. And if I open a standard cell, you can see that we have the blockages and the pins, but again, no device level information. If I open my IP GDS file, in this case, I just have one file, but um, for this flow to work, you can have multiple files in a single in a directory. Um, if I find the uh, standard cell and open it, you can see that there's actually device level information in here, and that's what I want to merge together with the routing uh, information in depth. So back in my terminal window, I can see the IP GDS file, and then I can just rerun the FDI to GDS utility and have it merge this data together. To do that, I'll add a, a new option called dash cell GDS, and then I'll point to the directory containing the GDS files that I want, and then just run it. And when that completes, then I'll open the design in Calibre Design Rev. this time when I zoom in and look at the uh, cell information you can see that it does have the device level contents that we saw um, in the IP. Uh, if I open the individual cell then you can see it also in the AND gate here. And that's it. So uh, in this video we showed you how to take uh, a left def database and the GDS standard cells and merge those together. Um, the output in this case was GDS but in a future video, we'll show you how to run the same flow from Calibre Interactive and keep all the data in memory as opposed to writing it out to disk. Thanks for watching.